What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, real quick, I was low key recording already and wasn't recording. Like, I was talking and I wasn't recording, but. If you are new to my channel, my name is Carrie Pace. And if you are not new, thank you for continuing to watch my videos. I love y'all and I rock with y'all. But y'all, today's video is kind of real raw. It's not gonna be planned. I'm just gonna talk to y'all, chit chat with y'all while I attempt to do my eyelashes while talking to y'all. Um, the truth is I'm in the works of doing three videos, but they won't be dropped until after my birthday. So I'm like, I gotta drop something. Because I believe the last time I dropped something was probably seven days ago. So we're not recording off the camera today. Y'all gonna take the phone video today because we just gonna be real today. We just chilling, we vibing, but it's really gonna be a little chit chat video. So let's get into the video. Okay, y'all. So it's been a lot going on in the world. Um, I'm just gonna be trying to do my eyelashes. I'm doing like a real simple 15 inch look if it don't look right don't care um i just need some type of lashes on because i don't want to do my birthday lashes yet i want them to be like super fresh next week so we're just gonna throw on some some little lashes and call it call it a day but um so basically there's been a lot going on in the world um if you haven't heard about the Jalen walker situation it was in Akron, ohio where i am from and he was running from the police and they ended up shooting him 60 times and attempted to shoot at him 90 times like it was 90 shots fired and it's just been real chaotic a real a whole lot of different views but they filed for that it wasn't cool make sure y'all go check out that story share it talk about it but he deserved his justice so that's one thing and i'm from there so it's a bit different um i know basically like what's going on all the things that has been happening um since that happened in Akron, the police are losing their minds down there. They're beating people up, pulling people over randomly and not even pulling people over. Like literally just hitting on people. Like they ain't got no sense. But if we did it, we going to jail. And I just feel like the police really have been losing their minds and they don't deserve to have that type of power over people. It's just that simple. But Besides those things that has been happening for far too long. Um, Y'all been hearing about this CERN stuff? Like, for one, I'm kind of over the topic of it, but I don't believe in it, honestly. Um, from what I heard, because I don't know, from what I heard, they're trying to end the world. Or, look, or, um, trying to power up something to bring demonic forces into the world, whatever the case may be, whatever they're trying to do, I don't believe in it. I feel like um, if anything, they will end up, you know, messing some stuff up as in causing some things to shift that shouldn't be shifted or, um, you know, the natural things that happen on earth when things are played with or messed with. Um, I feel like things like that can happen, but I don't feel like um, they can end the world uh, I feel like only one person can do that, and that is God, in my opinion. Um, but I just feel like the world is just going crazy, and it's really sad to see. Um, truthfully, I want kids, but at this time in my life, I be thinking, like, if I do have a kid, not no time soon, but if I did have a kid, I would really be terrified, like, for them to even be here, because it's like, if it's like this right now, I can only imagine... 10 years from now like I can only imagine so it's like it's a very scary thing and for the young people like me we just starting our life but we starting our lives having to see so much crazy things happening and going on it's just like weird but with the CERN thing um I was very bothered the other day because people was in my city y'all because all y'all not from Akron I like y'all I fuck I mess with y'all um if you're not from my city and you support me and you like found me off this platform like I really do appreciate you and I rock with you but from the people that's not from Akron it was a big topic on there about God and it's a lot of people who don't believe in God you know and you can't judge nobody for that but I just feel like we have to really understand 
the risk that we're taking when we don't believe in God. And it's not even about nothing else for me because it's a lot of old people who try to force that down your throat. Like, you got to believe in God or you're going to hell. For one, I hate that saying or just all the old sayings that old people tell these young people about going to hell and what happens when you choose to do certain things in your life. I don't believe in none of those things because I believe that God is a very forgiving God and things like that. But with this certain thing, it ended up being a topic as far as like um, God ain't real because of what's going on and just all the chaos in the world. And I was just saying, like, I really don't like how people do bad things and then they blame it on God. It's kind of like um, my mom punch you in the face, but you mad at me. Like, she did it. Like, people act like human beings aren't out here making these decisions or choices, and then we blame God. Or even, like, when people be like, they prayed for something and they didn't get it, but the same time, in the same breath, you prayed for something, but you didn't change your circumstance or you didn't stop doing what you've been doing. People be wanting God, I know he can do the impossible, but people be wanting God to literally do the impossible in their lives and not change a thing. Like, it just be so crazy to me um, about the things that I hear, but it's kind of scary. And I really do be praying for um, even the people that I know that don't believe in God. I really pray for them because I'm going to put this quote up here. And it literally says, basically, that... Um, the risk of not believing is so much more greater because if, say God ain't real, you feel me? Say God ain't real. Um, what are we losing when we die from that? Because truthfully, when you are a follower of God and you're trying to do the right things, he's asking us, the things that we're asked are good things. So it's not like they can harm us or hurt us. The things that we are asked of, it's literally more so like, hey, try to do these things in this order and they benefit you in a good way. You know, it ain't like he asking us to do stuff crazy, like harming ourselves. But in the same breath, it's like, if God is real and you choose not to believe in him, you taking a big risk by quote unquote going to hell. But I really don't like saying that people are going to hell because you really don't know what happens on that judgment day. You don't know their like final seconds before they die. You don't know what happens in their life three days before of the whole life of not believing in God and they so happen to believe in God. It's just like I really don't like to say who and like you know who going to hell. You really don't know. Truthfully you don't know. Um but People are so misinformed and they believe that in order to believe in God, you have to just have this certain type of lifestyle and it's not true. And for some reason, like a lot of people just feel like Christians believe in everything or Christians are blinded by things. And I just feel like for one, Christians have their questions too. I don't feel like nobody just never questioned anything like the walking on water situation was so, um, I would say, in my opinion, it was so, like, unbelievable, in my opinion. But I also learned, like, everything that they saying is how they talked a million years ago. Like, they probably knew what they were saying, but it's up to us to decide, like, what they mean by that and our perception of what they're saying. So just, like, I don't know, y'all. I just want people to really just do their research on the things they choose to believe in and the things they choose not to believe in. Like, if you don't believe in God, question yourself on why you don't and why you really don't, you know? Don't just pick a, a different route just because. Just try to do your research. If y'all believe in anything, know why you believe in it, you know? If you don't believe in something really know why you don't believe in it because I just feel like my opinion on that situation is if God wasn't real I feel like this book this bible wouldn't be around for so freaking long like it just wouldn't but that's just my opinion y'all so if there's any non-believers who watch me 
I love you regardless. I'm praying for you regardless. But just make sure you real life do the readings for yourself, study the Bible for yourself, and you know, try to go to church. Like really understand the really understand the decisions that you're making because it is a great risk, quote unquote, if God is real. You know, like y'all can say the if. I believe that he is real, but if he um is not real, I'm not affecting my life in any way. But for a non-believer, if he is real, there are a lot of things that you're going to have to face. But on to the next topic. I really, really, really am trying to focus on what in the world I'm about to be doing next year because I'm not playing basketball. Like, that's going to be crazy. I've never not played basketball in my entire life. I've been playing basketball since I was a little girl. And I won't be playing next year because I quit basketball last year. Um, and it was for a number of reasons, y'all. Like, people thought when I quit, it was something that happened that was a bit extreme. But a lot of people thought I just quit for that one reason. But college basketball has been nothing good for me. Um, I've made a lot of experiences. Um, I made a lot of memories, I should say. Um, and I've met a lot of people. I had a great time doing certain things, but it's just like at the end of the day, y'all, it ain't nothing sweet when you put your all into something and you getting nothing from it. Um, you can't make no money for real. And they just, it's just like, I feel like people that play basketball, if your school is paying you for it, for like paying you, great. And I mean like refund checks and um, you can have a job or study tables really are, is an income for you. At my school, y'all, they don't give us refund checks. Um, practice and school is damn near all day. Like you literally have class in the morning, lunch, sometimes you got class in the afternoon, then you'll have practice. What time do I have to work? I don't. Um, and then even continue that sometimes we'll have games and we'll be gone for weeks. Um, we'll say I leave for four days. I come back for like two days. We leave in and again. It's just like a lot that, that goes on. Um, and even with that, like with school, you have to really be doing work on the road. Um, I go to a Christian school and what's crazy is you think that the teachers will be more, um, open and just receptive but they they're not like you know when you have an assignment and you on the road you have to get it done regardless of what you got going on and a lot of times we have to do our work while driving or try to cram a paper in right before a game then you ain't focused for it it's just was too much um i didn't have about four coaches in two years um Never was winning games. I think we won like four games out of three years. It was just like not enough. It just wasn't enough for me to really just keep putting myself through that. And I felt like um, even with like holidays and stuff, y'all, we would really have to basically come back to school for when we leave school late. So everybody will already be gone and then we leave. And then... We have to come, we also have to come back earlier. So, for example, last year, y'all, I had to be back to school December 26th, the day after Christmas. Like, what type of holiday is that? I had to spend New Year's up there, y'all. Didn't do nothing for real. So, it was just like, playing basketball in college really wasn't ideal for me, you know? And although I feel like I'm going to miss it, I'm not going to miss playing for that school, if that makes sense. So I'm just trying to figure out like what is going to be next for Cartier. Like I'm really not about to be hooping. I don't even know what it feels like to be a regular student. I'm not regular because I'm still like a RA. I'm still on crew and things like that. But I don't know what it feels like to be a regular school student without playing basketball. So that's going to be new. Um, I have my internship coming up. Your girl finna get her bachelor's next year. It's just gonna be a lot of things and I'm excited, but I'm very nervous for it because y'all know after this, it's just real life. Like it been real life, but it's time for real bills. It's time for real life independency. I'm already independent, but um, in a way I still depend on my mom. I live with her uh, when I'm not at school. So 
you know but it's it's exciting but it's so scary i'm also trying to figure out if i want to go to grad school next year i'm trying to decide if don't do that my eyelash just stayed on dang on what is this my eyelash stayed on the tweezer i gotta wipe my tweezer off but I want to figure out if I want to go to grad school right after I get my bachelor's or should I take a break? But I don't know, y'all. I'm excited, but I'm like, I'm about to be out here grown. And your girl turning 21 next week. Like, this is insane. Ooh. Okay, y'all, my bad. My eyelashes was literally like falling in my eye. And I be getting a freak out. But what was I at? I believe I was talking about trying to figure out if, no, my birthday. So my birthday is next week, y'all. I'm turning 21, period. Um, but the thing is, I'm going to Atlanta and I don't know what to do. Like, what, what am I supposed to do down there? I wanna go to the Trap Museum. It's like a botanical garden, I believe it's called. And I want to go to Cascade again. I want to go down there to do like activities and to eat good food and to just be in a different environment where I'm not in Ohio. But y'all, I really don't know what to do down there, honestly. So if you've been to Atlanta and you know about some fun activities that you can do, make sure you comment that down below. But that's what's going on on that end. And then what else I got going on? I'm trying to get some more tattoos before I go back to school. I'm just all over the place, really, but I want some more tattoos. I want to get at least two tattoos before I go back to Michigan, which is August 5th. Um, so everything is literally coming back up, y'all. It felt like we just got out of school and we're right back. Um, so not excited for that. But it's just everything is about to start back up. The break of not being in school is officially about to be over but truthfully y'all this is my last time going back to Michigan and it feels so real like well I wouldn't say my last time going back to Michigan but it will be my last time going back to Michigan for school because um my close friend Randy will still be there so I'm pretty sure I'll pop in on her um to see what she's doing or come to some of her games and stay up there for a couple of days but besides that y'all I won't be going back to Michigan, and that's been my life for the past four years. So it's going to feel real weird, you know, like, but I will adjust again. So, you know, we just, we just doing what it do, y'all. I feel like I'm only scared about real life because, <laughs> because of like how much people complain about you know, like their lifestyles and things like that, but I can't go off other people's experiences. I have to, you know, have my own. Can y'all see? I'm not like all the way down with them, but I don't know. We doing like a real calm eyelash look. So it look like, ooh, her lashes is done, but they real calm and cute. But I don't know if I have anything else to really chit chat about y'all. Like I said, once again, this video was just me talking to y'all rambling and giving y'all some raw, raw content so y'all could just get a feel for me. Like we ain't sit down, make a video, plan it out and see what we was gonna do. It's not a haul, it's not none of that. Like this is Carrier and yeah. Y'all, these eyelashes is pissing me off for real. Like they keep getting stuck in my eye. Like the glue is getting stuck on my lower bottom, but it's like very uncomfortable because it's making me look look weird. Hold on. I'm trying to make my eyelashes shift in the other direction because they keep going the opposite way but y'all 
I don't really know if I have much to chit chat about. So let me finish these eyelashes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but I'm gonna come back and close the video out so I'm not looking like this. Okay, y'all, I finished doing my eyelashes and they look very good. And I really just, you know, wanted to do something real calm and it wouldn't, I'm about to do my thumbnail. And it wouldn't basically, you know, be too much. It's just like some calm, oh, her eyelashes is a little cute. They're not long. They're giving 15 real, real classy, real, you know, cool. Because when I do my eyelashes next week, I want them to give bad, very much pop out. So that's it for this video, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new, thank you for subscribing. If you have not subscribed yet, y'all, hit that subscribe button down below because we dropping content and that's just on period. I love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!